Hello guys, Irfan here from Irfotech and in this video I will show you how to flash Lineage OS which is recently released on U forums and made by developer NSY Techno also known as Nikhil Yadav. So let's boot into TWRP to flash it. So on TWRP first go to wipe section Then select these 4 options and swipe to wipe these partitions. After wiping, go back to the main screen and go to install tab and go to the location where you have downloaded the lineage OS ROM and then tap on it and then swipe the below bar to flash it. This will take some time to flash, so have patience. After ROM flashing, go back and install Google Apps. After you are done, tap on reboot system to boot the ROM. Just ignore this AOSP Paradox boot logo because I have previously flashed AOSP Paradox ROM and this changed the boot logo. So here you can see the boot animation, not very fancy but still. After booting, let me set up it quickly. So here you can see the home screen. The apps are like CN13, but the OS is Android 7.1. Bluetooth was already on. Now let's check in settings what we have got. So this is based on Android 7.1.1 and this is Lineage OS version 1. And you can see the kernel 29th December. And this is no but you can see the easter egg. We also have this status bar options as we have seen in CM ROM. You can customize the clock, battery type and we also have quick pull down when you swipe the status bar from the right section of the screen then you get quick settings also we have buttons here you can see show arrow while typing and many more features We also have home button double tap. So if you select turn off screen in home button tap double tap action then when you double tap on home screen then it will lock the phone and double tap to wake is also working. In display we can see double tap to wake support and wake on plug. These features are good. We don't have all the features of resurrection remix room because this is not resurrection remix room. The developer already told that this has data toggle bug so you have to use LT discovery app to turn on data every time data toggle error happens so data was not turning on so i select the default data sim to sim1 
and in sim1 settings the access point was not selected by default so i have to set it manually so i went to sim1 settings and there i see apn was not selected so i selected it and preferred network was 2g in sim1 as i have geo in sim1 so i selected it to 4g and selected the sim2 to 2g battery saver is working too let's check if voltage is working or not so as i dial this number the call got disconnected so it does not have voltage let's check proximity sensor so as i hold my finger over the proximity sensor then screen goes off so proximity sensor is working here camera is also working so overall a very good rom to use as a daily driver but you have to use lte discovery app to fix the data toggle issue so thank you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like this and please subscribe